part 3 of gram negative bacilli so these are bacteria that take up the uh, counter stain safranin instead of uh, retaining uh, crystal while hence they appear as pink rods under the microscope right after gram stain so the first, first bacteria in this video that we are going to look at is stenotrophomonas maltophilia Stenotrophomonas maltophilia has a tuft of polar flagella, they are gram-negative bacilli and on sheep blood or blood agar, colonies appear rough and greyish or lavender green and have an ammonia odour. They are also oxidase negative, uh, oxidize uh, glucose and maltose and are rapid or intense uh, maltose oxidizers. So a maltose test, uh, its purpose is to see if the microbe can ferment uh, maltose as a carbon source. They also exhibit extracellular DNA activity and well uh, most pathogenic uh, bacteria like group A streptococcus they produce extracellular DNAs however their activity or benefit is not that well understood. So here we have uh, colonies of Stenotrophomonas maltophilia growing on uh, blood agar and as you can see here they, their colonies appear uh, grayish in color. So Stenotrophomonas maltophilia are aerobic, uh, they are nosocomial pathogens, uh, hospital acquired, uh, classically uh, causes pneumonia in vent dependent ICU patients and can be uh, colonized in certain patient populations including those with CF and immunosuppressed patients. So uh, CF is actually a medical abbreviation for cystic fibrosis. Uh, cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive genetic disorder that affects the lungs, pancreas, liver and intestines characterized by thick, viscous secretions. Causes bacteremia, meningitis, epididymitis, conjunctivitis, endocarditis. Uh, next bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So, uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa are long, they are gram negative bacilli and grows at 42 degrees Celsius. Colonies should be recognizable on primary isolation media due to colony morphology, uh, spreading and flat with serrated edges and a metallic sheen, and also the predict production of diffusible pigment and grape like or corn taco like odor. Uh, mucoid colonies are also prevalent, especially from cystic fibrosis patients. Uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa are strict aerobes and will not grow in an anaerobic environment. They are oxidase positive and triple sugar ion reaction usually shows no change. Uh, well, TSI, uh, triple sugar ion, contains a pH sensitive, sensitive dye which is called phenol red. Usually if the byproducts of the of bacterial fermentation are acidic then the phenol red will change to yellow. Uh, however here the TSI reaction shows no change whatsoever because the bacteria produces an alkaline byproduct. Produces bright blue to bluish green, red or brown diffusible pigments on Muller Hinton or other non dye containing agar. So, uh, muller hinton agar, if you still remember, is a growth media that is used to isolate Neisseria and Moraxella species. So, these are genuses of gram-negative uh, diplococci bacteria. Mucoid stain strains often do not produce pigments. Uh, so, here we have two uh, Petri dishes, uh, agar plates. And on on my on your left, you can this this is uh, colonies of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, uh, growing on tripic soy agar. And on your right, uh, these are colonies of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, growing on Pseudomonas isolation agar. Pseudomonas aeruginosa under microscopic view. So Pseudomonas aeruginosa, they are gram-negative bacilli, causes pneumonia in cystic fibrosis patients and others with impaired lung function or those on ventilators, wound infections in burn patients, malignant otitis externa in diabetics, sepsis in neutropenic patients, uh, urinary tract infections in people with catheters, and hot tub folliculitis in people with normal immune response. 
uh, next bacteria pseudomonas fluorescence uh, pseudomonas fluorescence are long they are gram negative bacilli and do not grow at 42 degrees celsius pseudomonas fluorescence are oxidase positive and are coagulase positive uh, so here we have uh, two uh, agar plates and on, on, the, on the for the agar plate on top here these are actually colonies of pseudomonas fluorescence uh, under white light and the bottom here uh, this is uh, an agar plate uh, containing colonies of pseudomonas fluorescence under uh, UV light so they are Color is such because the bacteria secretes a soluble fluorescent pigment called pyoverdin, uh, which was formerly known as fluorescein. This is uh, this is pseudomonas. Uh, f these are pseudomonas uh, fluorescence under microscopic view. Uh, pseudomonas fluorescence are obligate aerobes and has multiple flagella. They are opportunistic pathogens affecting immunocompromised patients. Those with an those, those with a weakened immune system. Uh, next, pseudomonas putida. Pseudomonas putida are long. They are gram-negative uh, bacilli and like. Uh, pseudomonas fluorescence do not grow at uh, 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, so here uh, we have colonies of Pseudomonas putida uh, growing on chrome agar and their colonies uh, as you can see here appear blue green in color. Pseudomonas putida is used for bioremediation to treat naphthalene contaminated soil uh, because and Pseudomonas putida can convert styrene oil into biodegradable plastic PHA. PHA is short for polyhydroxyalkanoates, which are actually linear polyesters. Uh, with that, I thank you.